Misha wins the tip. Higher hands it off to battle, and we're off. Baravich open right away for three. She's got it, and a quick three-pointer from KDB. And this is where the Gophers have shined this season, perimeter scoring. Baravich, Braun, multiple young players on this Minnesota Gophers Jada offense. Donaldson bringing up the ball from Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. So hand it over to their second leading scorer, Angie Sierra, number 22 for the Panthers. Driving inside and kicking it out is Emma Whit Whitmerhouse. And now Sierra once again to her left. And a travel is called. Cuts into her left. Outside to Braun for three. Just off the mark. Off the front of the rim. And Donaldson rebounds and brings it up for the Panthers. Looking for Sierra. Finds her. Looking inside to Whitmerhouse. Strong post move inside and she finishes. Nice move from Emma Whitmerhouse from Bangor, Wisconsin. Baravich breaks the press once again. Nice behind the back. Finds the outside. Braun back to Baravich. Baravich dribbles inside. Nice hesitation. Tries to hand it off to Misha. Gets it in. Rose with the floater and it can't fall. She'll hand it off to Sierra up top. Sierra gets a screen from Whitmerhouse. Back to Whitmerhouse. She pulls up from mid range and she knocks it down. Bringing it up is a mile battle. She finds Braun. Pulls up from mid range. Just off the mark. That one rims in and out. Oh, tip blast, and Braun gets the steal. She's running on the fast break, and she'll lay it in for two more for the Gophers. Finds Walsh on the backside, and no good from mid-range. That one's tipped, and it'll stay with the Gophers. Nice setup, Rose Misha at the top of the key. She'll dribble to her left, turn around, spinning jumper. That'll fall, nice shot from Rose Misha. Gets it over to Need. She'll look inside. Wallstead had position, but it'll be an offensive foul. Hands it off to Braun. Sonata open up top. Doesn't decides not to take it. She'll drive to her left, kick it out to Baravich, who fires again. And it's good. Two early threes from Katie Baravich. Double team here coming. Need all the way to the rim, and she finishes. Kyle Recklitz, who's 157-160 in her career with the Gophers, as the Gophers turn the ball over on the inbounds. Battle, Caton, Hire, Sonano, and Dreadwell for the Gophers. Inbounds is into the right corner to Sierra. She'll swing it to Whitmerhouse, who swings it over to Pepler. Inside to Kendall Need, tries to post up on Battle and does, and she'll get the roll. We Whalen did not like what she saw there on the defensive end. She'll make two, three substitutions at the next dead ball as Battle hit misses that turnaround jumper. A little screen and shield from Whitmerhouse as Pepler brings up the ball. Four, four across the top, finds an inside cutter and it's need, and she'll put in another. Three games in double digit scoring this season, looking to get her fourth today. Gophers not having trouble breaking the press, finds Caton up top. She fires from three and knocks it down. Today, already three and five from beyond the arc. Nice 60% clip there. Inside passes to Wallstead. She makes a move up and under and finishes. The yeah, getting their work inside as they usually do. Only shooting 21% from three, so they're working in the paint. Misha inside. As well as the Gophers finding their stroke from the outside. Inbounds pass to Wallstead. She finds space and hits, misses the jumper. Pepler, offensive rebound and can't get the layup to fall. A lot of contact, no call there. Baravich brings it up to the left side. She's driving left. Nice dump off pass from Misha. Misha finishes the lane. Welcome back to Williams Arena as we get started in the second quarter of action in this incredible atmosphere of a large amount of fans here at the barn today for this kids day. Jada Donaldson trapped by Baravich on the wing. Gets it over to the newly checked in Jesse Giles for the Panthers. Giles driving to her right on battle. And she'll go up for the layup and get fouled. First shot from Giles off the mark. Second one here from Giles is good. Baravich calling out a play. It's two high screens and a play to get Bar higher open for three. She's got it. Knocks down the... Hits her first of the night here. Nice move there on battle by Need, but she can't get the play up the fall. Braun up court quickly. Looks to drive to her right. Spins to her left and finishes. What a move. Wallstead over to Sierra, who fires from three. That one's off the mark, rebounded by Battle. She led the team in rebounds against Chicago State with 10. Higher inside, posting up on Lutz. She'll go to the jump shot, fading, got it. Here we are as Giles drives to her left, spinning. 
Pines the backside on the block, and Ciro puts it in for the layup. The Gophers average nine more rebounds than the Panthers per, in every game this season. Good screen there from Wallstead. Ball's now over to double zeros, which is Haley Majoris. As Pepler hands, has the ball now, she'll drive inside. Floater with the right hand is good. Passes over, uses the screen, driving to her left still with it. Tries to find the pass to Wallstead, but it's turned over. Nice steal there from Braun, who has multiple four steal games this year. Nice pull up from Braun. What has been the key thing you've seen so far here today for the Gophers and the Panthers? Yes, both teams have been great at scoring the ball in field goal percentage. So far, the Milwaukee Panthers this season have not been great field goal percentage-wise on road games, as on the road, the Panthers are scoring just 48 points per contest. Sorry, Angie Anna Lutz for the Panthers. Pepler with the ball now, Barovic guarding. Looking inside, finding inside. Nice move from Anna Lutz, and she'll get the reverse layup. And Kendall Need for the Panthers. Bravich up top, guarded by Need. She tries to find Braun for three on that backside pick play. Nice spin there from Braun. Pull up from the free throw line is in the backcourt. Is forcing some miscues from this Panther team. Looking for Whitmer House again from three. She knocks down another one. Yeah, from Rose Misha. Lobs it over the top to Braun on the fast break. She'll cut inside, try to kick it backside corner, but it's stolen by Jesse Giles. Giles now brings it up for the Panthers. Donaldson will get it once back with eight seconds on the shot clock. Dump it off to Wallstead. Looking inside to Need, posting up higher. Fouled and one. Kendall Need with a the look from Maya Battles facilitating to jumpstart this offense. As Need knocks it down. Misha calling for it inside, looking to post up Lutz. She'll drive to her left, going right at her. She falls over. The floater is good. And Misha mirror, mirroring pressure are the Panthers on the Gophers. This battle will be guarded by Donaldson full court. Over to Baravich on the left wing. Looking to get inside to Misha, trying to find position. Pulls it from deep. She's got it. Unbelievable. Emma Whitmer house in the first half. The fourth year Panthers leads both teams in scoring, rebounding, and turnovers with 10 points, five rebounds, and three turnovers. The Wisconsin native is on track currently to break her all-time record of 14 points against the rival Green Bay. Merhouse, um, Wallstead, and Sierra are all in for the Panthers. Offensive rebound off the missed free throw back to Misha. Kicks it off to higher. Off bounce pass to Braun. Open left side. She takes it. Goes up for the layup and is fouled. Which one's the force overtime? Three in a row, actually, in the game for them to win their first Big Ten matchup of the year. She misses that one, so she goes one for two from the line. That'll bring down the average a bit, but that is a very strong number and over 90 on the year. Donaldson now with it at, up top. Baravich guarding her. A limitless motor here from Baravich. She's playing hard-nosed, tough defense. Every possession guarding closely. Need pulls it from mid-range, and she's got it. Screened by Wallstead with seven left on the shot clock. Fires it for, for three. And that one will rim out. Off the head of Crowley looking for that rebound. That shot was by Wallstead. Baravich will bring it up. Finds Braun. She'll get it inside to Rose Misha. Misha, post move. Tough move into Wallstead and she'll get... She'll knock down the first of two. Seems to be one of the most electric atmospheres I've been to due to the 4,000 kids here in the stands and you can see them getting At, excited after that. Free throw. In addition to those 4,000 kids, it seems like most of their parents, those kids and the parents who usually show up to games are here as well. As we get a fast break layup from Grace Crowley. Nice play there from the Panthers. Grace Crowley from McQuan, Wisconsin. Spinning move by Braun. She'll finish the tough left hand. Kendall Need with it on the right baseline. She tries to find Giles, tipped by Braun. Hands in the passing lane early here for the Gophers as Braun has two, tipped two straight passes. Giles for three, and she knocks it down. We have ourselves a game, folks. I mean, I'm surprised. I'll, I'll be honest, Andrew. I'm surprised that the Milwaukee Panthers are able to stay in this game due to their incredible defense so far. Great dish. And this Milwaukee team, despite a five-point deficit, are really staying in this game. I mean, holding the Gophers well below their average scoring throughout yep. three quarters. Yep, a foul there. Knocks down the first one. Here from Need as Pepler's getting some information from Recklitz. She knocks it down. 
Very big bright spot for the Gophers this year. Inside is Need, working inside, and she can't get the finish. To Panthers have made 80% of the free throws. That'll continue. Jesse Giles checked in for the Panthers, and so did Anna Lutz. As well as Wallstead into the game. We have not seen Whitmerhouse a lot this second half. Baravic drives inside and is fouled. Baravic's first from the line is good. So that lead. Baravic knocks down both. Close games this year. The Gophers have been in six of them with games decided by six points or less. What do the Panthers need to do to keep this one close, Matt? Panthers should continue to feed the hot hand, Kendall Need, who currently leads both teams in scoring with 15 points. Kaitzen knocks down a lot. Much needed points there from the Gophers. Need inside, she'll get fouled. Making a huge impact for the Panthers. Looking to extend and had more points that time. They call that a shooting foul, which is why she gets two at the line here. By Pepler, she kicks it out to Sonano. She'll think better of a three. Whitmerhouse guarding her. Can't finish the left-handed layup. Tipped out by Hire. And a diving. He's against Boise State, currently having 33 rebounds. First of the two. Shooting 70%. She'll knock down that one. Seven other than Barovic from downtown, based on the scores on the floor. Goes for a fourth one. And Just as we mentioned, she shoots that one off the mark, but Braun gets it back. Like we were talking it. She'll bring it up quickly on the fast break. Kicks it out to Braun. Back to back threes. Off the mark. Caton gets the offensive board. She'll look to set up the offense now. Finds a cutting. It made a massive impact for this Gophers team, both on their first starting season for the Gophers. Second one is good as well. The number of threes in a game. Absolutely. But something this Gophers uh, fans are excited for is the fact that they expect these players to be here for some time now. This is a great post move from Lutz as she finishes that one with her left hand and cuts the lead back to seven. Gradwell up top. She'll fire from long range. And she'll hit. And it's not been just a few people. We've seen it from multiple. Hires gotten involved. Caton, Gradwell, Braun, and Barovic all knocking down outside shots. Trying to get that post up again to Lutz. Their average, and today is holding the Gophers well below their average in the box. No 79 points, but not even, not, not close to where they would like to be. Barovic dribbling up top, trying to wait out these last few seconds of the quarter and set up a ball screen from higher to get a downhill movement action towards the hoop. Barovic cuts, looking for higher. Finds Braun, step back three, at the buzzer, she got it! Unbelievable! What a shot Nine from Mara Braun! made for the Gophers. Gophers lead by 12, coming into this quarter, as the inbounds pass will be to Jada Donaldson, so Panthers will get the ball first. And three-point shooting is the reason why the Gophers team has possession of this game, making 9 of 19 beyond the arc. Gophers may be losing the turnover battle and being out-rebounded by the Panthers. Good steal the there from Mara Braun. Yes. Bailed them out. Incredible three-point shooting is right. Off the mark there from Caton on the fast break with the layup, but rebounded by the Panthers, brought up by Donaldson. It's hard defense from Caton there. She reaches in and draws a foul. That, those three-pointers are coming in clutch, keeping this lead available. Higher closes out late on Donaldson. Shots no good. Lutz offensive rebound, and she puts it in. Ravich with the ball now. Misha at the left elbow. Higher flash to left, right elbow. Dumps it inside and a nice pass is Wallstead. Looks inside for Lutz. She'll look over a layup. Nice rebound, tough one from Rose Misha. And that's the Rose Misha we are used to seeing. And I incorrect. Oh, pull up jumper from Barovic and she knocks it. Down. Get herself to 15 points on the day. Pass to Wallstead at the left elbow. She'll knock it down the jumper as she'll get a play call from her coach, Kyle Recklitz. At the right elbow is Wallstead. Back cut by Need. She's open and she finishes it. Barovic will slow it down. Looking for the post up inside on Hernandez. Higher gets it, spins to her left. Foul and one! With Higher at nine points and now ten. So four double digit scores for the Gophers as Gradwell drive guard Pepler. She'll dump it off inside to Crowley, who finishes the tough layup. Misha looking for it again. Double screen high. Battle drives by, and she'll finish the tough scoop. And the post up inside need again. 
Pepler, pump fake, step back three is just off the mark. Rebounded on the offensive boards by Crowley, who puts it back up and in. Pepler's put up 105 points over Chicago State. The 51-point win over the Cougars was the fifth largest win in program history. Whalen looking to get her 67th win today. Very, very characteristic, though, of these Panthers as they shoot 30% or so on the year from field goal percent. Scoring for um, the Panthers, just only 80 or 48 points per game on the road. She's the only gopher who scored 30 or more points in the game. Braun, one of the freshmen to watch for for the rest of the season. Baravich with it up top, setting a screen as Misha. Nice move from Baravich, didn't do her right. Nice little spin all the way around, 360 and finishes. I mean, you can't get a better defensive effort than that. That was a tough bucket from Baravich. Hepler with it now, jump stops and kicks it back to Wallstead. She'll pull up from the left elbow. It is looking in favor of the Gophers, and the Panthers had a very tough fought game. Nice play there, gets a wide open three. Baravich with it now, loses the handle of it, but gets it back. Gradwell with it, gets it back to Baravich. She'll kick it inside to Misha, and she'll finish the left-handed layup. So the Gophers will go to 7-5 and five and carry some much-needed momentum into further Big Ten play. Great block there from Isabel Gradwell. Rebounded by the Panthers, blocked again by Angelina Hammond, and that is how this one ends here today. Gophers win it, 75-50.